Lisa Johnson's kitchen, or what's left of it, lies just beyond this piece of plywood. The fire that would have killed her had her son not woken her up caused thousands of dollars in damage. If Governor Quinn chooses not to sign that gambling bill, he'll set himself up for a showdown in the fall veto session. Reporting at the Illinois State Capitol, I'm Casey Lund for WAND News. The effort to keep playgrounds like this one here at Washington Park smoke-free is being led by a Springfield mom who says her kids are the ones that brought the issue up. Paying down old bills and investing in higher education. Those are just some of the things Senate Democrats want to focus on as they propose their budget for fiscal year 2013. That legislative group says for now, they'll continue their work on the Medicaid system when they return on Tuesday. Reporting at the state capitol, I'm Casey Lund for WAND News. Post offices everywhere have seen a reduction in volume, and this Cook Street facility is no different. However, it's about to get a lot busier as it absorbs services from Quincy, Centralia, and Carbondale. The message from law enforcement is clear. Cuts to state-funded preschool programs like this one here on South 1st Street in Springfield will cost Illinois a lot more down the road. The Salvation Army is still about $2 million shy of their fundraising goal. They're hoping they can count on the community to help make this facility a reality.